All right, it's making its way up. Not particularly quickly, but it's making its way up. Uh, that's all that really matters right now. That little rock that could. I just hope my thing is up to the task of mulching it. It doesn't go super fast, so those boxes might not even be necessary. Yep, that worked. We've learned so much already. Like that this ground isn't producing enough gold, so we're going to take our whole operation over to the one that actually has giant gold nuggets. That includes our single box. I'm not going to bring any of my pipes or machinery yet because I want to figure out what exactly it is I need to do. Well, it's good to see my pile of iron is still here. Right now, it's really just a question of whether I want to continue on mining the giant gold nuggets from this ground in some mega form of production or go find ground that has even better gold, which I'm not sure exists because these things are huge. For now, I'm just going to keep mining until I find one giant gem. Using that, I'm going to turn that into some jewelry and sell it for more money because I need more money before I can do anything anyways. And with a big old pop, we got ourselves an emerald. Which is unfortunate because now we got to go through this mess finding what we need. But my furnace actually fits really nicely into this hill. That way it's nice and low so I can drop stuff in it while it's hot. And then the anvil's actually going to go in the box because that seems to be the only place that it likes around here. Except for that spot down there. Not exactly where I want an anvil. Then we'll just kind of do half and half for this gold. I think there's about 12, 15 large nuggets. Oh, those melted fast. Does that work? That might not work. All right, we're going to take this out and make a uh, gold nugget, a gold bar out of one single nugget. And then the rest are going to go in here to make a bigger nugget. Yes, bar. I said bar the first time. Hopefully somehow this is an extra, extra big emerald. It looks pretty standard. Two gold bars plus an emerald makes nothing, apparently. Come on, we can do it. What do I have to touch? Oh, you need to reselect what you want to build after you remove the anvil once or twice. As I was saying, uh, nothing. Apparently the gold bar cooled down. I'm definitely making this simple process a lot harder than it needs to be. Third time's a charm. One amulet. Probably pretty valuable. We'll uh, throw that in the truck and go for a little drive. I'm led to believe I'll get a better price at the stock market than I will here. So for this, we'll get $2,500. Let's go find the stock market and see what it's worth there. I also kind of forgot I had all these gems, so we'll bring those back to our little operation as well. I think I took a wrong turn, but while I'm here, let's see how expensive this ground is. I'm just basically assuming that the more expensive the ground is, the better the gold is going to be. 6600 That's considerably more than the one I bought which means I'm interested. There's got to be some valuables here somewhere. Just got to find some water, hopefully. Uh, I think I found an adequate water source. So unless we can find a more expensive piece of ground, we'll likely be buying this one. Anyways, the jeweler offered us 2,500 for one of these. The value is down, but what's it going to give us? 7,422. Yeah, I definitely should have been selling stuff here the entire time. Even at a low price, that's three times what I would have got elsewhere, which means I could have been that much further ahead. But we now have a total of $12,000, so let's go buy that really expensive ground. It's not like I just set up an entire operation elsewhere. Money in, give me the ground. All right, now I gotta go get the rest of my stuff. Money can probably, you know what, I'm gonna carry it around with me or I'm gonna forget where it is. For now though, let's go unload what we have. We're probably gonna set up our operation right here near the water, because that just makes sense to me. I was pretty tempted to leave all these behind, but I'll pick them up really quickly because there is considerable value here. And last but not least, my pickaxe. I actually organized that surprisingly well, believe it or not. The best way to get to the far side of the bumpy ground is to jump. And not bad. Oh, maybe a little bit far. No, actually, we're almost perfect. Just where I wanted to be. Gather my stuff neatly all over the place. Let's see where the bottom is now. Turns out this whole strip is unminable ground anyway, so I might set up some of my stuff over there. Well, I found the bottom. The bad news is I made it a little bit too steep to get out of, but it does seem like it's deeper than the other piece of ground. But that is some nice deep ground. So let's find out what kind of gold is down there. So that's what we're getting at the last claim. This one is going to have the same size. I mean, there were two of them. But they seem to be about the same. Another glowy thing. All right, we could power some pumps for sure now. I was hoping we'd find more of those, but uh, we'll find a little bit more gold before we create anything. And hopefully find a few more of those. I do have a few smaller ones, but I'm assuming the bigger ones work better. Bigger is always better. Unless you're actually getting stuck in a hole. We got lots of ground to work with over here. Mind up a bit of gold. I'm going to turn all of this plus a ruby into one single ring, which looks something like that. Should be worth a few bucks to the stock market. Great prices today. Couldn't be happier about that. Do you buy gold bars? You do not. Rings are down $50 today, but $4,000 for that one little ring. I'm definitely going to take it because we're going to use this money to set up whatever it is we're about to do next. We do have things like conveyor belts, also vertical conveyor belts and conveyor splitter. That way you can organize materials somehow. Well, the whole point of having too much money is so that you can build ridiculous things. When in doubt, just collect absolutely everything. How far down did that drill, by the way? That went down a little ways. There are so many parts to put together. And good news, I think my truck just ran out of fuel. 
It's Gage is showing me empty. Luckily, I think there's a bucket right here. And they put the tank on top for extra convenient loading. Now let's hope I never have to refuel again. I haven't really thought this through yet how this is going to work, but for now, I'm going to bring a pipe all the way over to there with water, which is going to be a way to travel, and I'll need some power stones to do this, but it's going to be worth it. Was kind of hoping this would work as sort of an exploit, but no, you cannot feed one of these with the water bucket. Now that we've made it in this far, it's time to add one of the power boosters. These crystals are so big, they hardly even fit, which is a good problem to have. Uh, closing a door in the other hand is an actual problem. Yep, good. I mean, I guess we could attach it first. It might be hard to drop a crystal in up there, but I'll manage. Something like that. Good enough for me. And let's add ourselves a water gauge right here so we can kind of see what pressure we're at. We're up pretty high, actually, considering we've gone this far already. Despite everything I bought, we're still going to need more parts. I definitely need a lot more straights to get us all the way out to there. And I'm glad. I didn't make all this money to not spend it. This should be enough for now. Does the one on the roof count as mine? I'm taking it anyways. Well, some, uh, interesting news. We finally got to the point where the game's starting to crash, but it loaded me back at the shop and threw my stuff everywhere while I was at it. The stuff is still landing. Oh, well, do I get a refund on those ones? Because I feel like they're not going to move a lot of water up there. Not only does the ground eat my stuff, but so does heaven. Oh, no, where's my money? Did it throw my money somewhere? No, my money's still safe. That's all I really worried about. Given uh, what's transpired, I'm going to be saving a little bit more often now. I just saved and loaded back into my game, and guess what happened? Big explosion. Fun. Every time I load into the game, I get to pick up all my stuff again. But at least the best part about my new claim here is that it's closest to the store, so I can actually drive backwards the whole way there. Game's probably not going to love what happens next, but so far it's not loving anything I've been doing. Oh, don't crash into my stuff. And we're good. That's actually a quick way of unloading my truck. If I leave, whoa, don't go down there, and load back in, it unloads for me. It's not a very tidy process, but it works. Let's throw down another gauge to see what kind of water pressure. We still get pretty good water pressure. I'll still add a booster right here. And that set my water pressure up by quite a bit. I do have another crystal or two, not super big one, but we can do it again if we have to. You know what? I think we will right now just to see the amount of pressure we can build with these little crystals. After uh, very carefully adding those, our pressure is up to full. So I might have even overdone it with one of those. I could probably put one further along. We were that close to make it to where we needed to go. I'm actually out of straight pieces. As far as I know, there is one somewhere in the sky nearby, but it's probably not coming down anytime soon. I've got to go all the way back to the store for just a few more pieces. Right, so I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, the walls of this cut were very steep. I'll maybe go down and confirm that. Yeah, that looks pretty well vertical to me, so I'm probably out far enough. I just got to find out a way to connect the pipes all the way downwards. Now this is going to be something of a delicate operation. I think. To build this vertical structure, I'm doing the circle technique. I'm just going to wrap around and around, working my way deeper until we're at or near the bottom. I feel like I'm probably getting pretty close to the bottom now, so I'm going to try and jam in my drill right here and just kind of see what it does. Before I do that, I'm going to give it a power boost as well, because you can never have too much power. Unless with the power boosting pieces, you can't rotate them vertically, at which point we're going to have to make another plan. I've also never really noticed the magnet on a stick or magnet staff. It attracts resources in a large area. I'm kind of curious to see what this does. But more importantly, I need a mining helmet and some more straight pieces. I mostly just kind of want to see uh, what this is going to look like. Does it automatically light up? It's kind of annoying how it blocks my view. I mean, I'm sure it'll work great for when I'm underground. That's mostly what I want it for, so you guys can see exactly what it is I'm doing. I think I just realized what the magnet on a stick does. It's for like, if you uh, say, spill your iron in a small area. You pick up this and yep, it all groups back up, except for the stuff that's actually more than three feet away. So let's try this mining helmet, which so far doesn't seem to be making much of a difference. It is really, really annoying to have to carry individual pieces all the way down to the bottom every single time. But I think it's about time we added a drill to the equation to kind of see what it does underground. I should be decently close to the bottom at this point, so I like the way it's not doing anything at all. That's reassuring. I wonder if it's because its top half is completely buried. I have to turn it on anyway, and my pickaxe is up top. Can I flip the switch from here? Is that the switch? Oh, it's working. I think it's working. Uh, I might have to clear out some area over there so it can actually, uh, you know, spit out some dirt. Yes, this will take a little bit of trial and error, but I foresee good things happening. Well, its little slot has room to shoot stuff out. Whoops, at this point. Whoa, okay, I'm... Yep. I'm just going to keep an eye on it for a minute. It's probably pretty dark for you guys, but I want to see if it's actually going to spit something out, like if it can actually drill here or not. It should be able to, but I don't really know if it's working or not yet. So far, it's spit out no dirt at all. So what we're going to do is maybe just move it... Uh, one space over, yeah, something like that, and then connect a pipe to it in a minute where it's hopefully going to sit nicer. You know what? Maybe this over here is part of the problem. I didn't notice this before, but I'm pretty sure I can fix it. All I got to do is that, 
and cool it should be up and running yeah now that it's fixed i can actually hear it pumping water again which is something i haven't heard in a while that's more like it it even has a light for me is it on or off right now okay now it's on so hopefully it'll start spitting stuff nope it broke it broke that quickly really it probably just doesn't love the fact that its exhaust is going up into the dirt and i know that unfiltered water hurts it but the filter was what i just fixed so uh, I'm going to bring another filter down to it as well as a wrench to hopefully fix it. If I have a wrench. Sure do. You think if I just drop this down, I'll be able to save myself a trip? Well, it went somewhere. If I can't find that again, that might have been a poor choice. Nope, it's working its way down piece by piece. There you go. I'll see you in a few floors. So let's fix this thing and hopefully it starts spitting me out some dirt and doesn't break again. I would just, I just want some dirt. I need some kind of progress at this point. It's been a long time just to get to here. It's just me and you know, Drill. A hundred feet underground. Oh, it's spitting out dirt. Okay, perfect. What I need to do now is install a conveyor belt to carry this dirt back to the surface. Oh, way up there. These aren't the cheapest things in the world, but you know what? We still got a little bit of money to burn. And they're annoyingly big, so I can really only carry so many of them at a time before the game's going to explode. Now all I need to do is find a way to make these conveyors come all the way to the surface again. Next on my list of problems, to connect to a conveyor belt, you got to connect the pipe right there. So it could spit stuff out under the conveyor belt, but it's not going to be able to connect. I think I need a funnel and put the conveyor belt below this. Plus, this thing also broke again, and it wasn't even really running. This doesn't really work either, because it's drilling straight down into that ground. So if I run a pipe through that, that doesn't work. So the conveyor's going to have to go like that way and then up. So we'll start by removing the uh, broken piece and putting a T in there. Then you just got to connect there to there, which looks something like that. The conveyor belt is going the wrong way, but you see what I'm getting at. Now all I need is a funnel and then like a million ramps going up that way. We could probably kind of test this right now. If I can get this big rock to go through the funnel, well, no, it works and it doesn't. Okay, so if we take the funnel away, yeah, we don't need the funnel. And luckily, it lets me build ramps in the dirt, so that's going to actually help guide me quite a bit. Now I'm just kind of wondering how many of these it's going to take to get to the top. I've finally broken through to the surface. That's a lot of conveyor belts, but a few more to go. This also gives me a much easier route to get in and out of where I need to go. And this is my last vertical conveyor. I actually guesstimated out to the uh, approximate level of the surface, but now I need to go a little bit higher. Because in the end, it's going to connect to this thing. Buying some more parts for another $2,000. Gonna have to start making some some money back at some point we're almost out luckily i do know where to find some gold kind of seeing another problem with my design at this point i kind of need the funnel to go at the same place as the pipe that's not really the end of the world i have a workaround it's just kind of annoying because now instead of uh splitting the water there i've got to split there and bring it all the way over here which is going to be more money anyways it will eventually look something like that just need to tie it all together, plus probably put a plug in that. But the good dirt will come from way down there, work its way up, fall into there, get ground up, and then shoot off into oblivion. Just need to make a little money in the meantime, so I'm going to collect up all this iron I have lying around and hopefully sell it for some profit. While harnessing the power of the magnet stick. Look at it go. Magical. Can we get, like, all of the iron, though? That would be great. Uh, better, I guess. Oh, never mind. You can't run with it. Okay, magnet stick. You're going in the ocean. And it's a good thing I bought lots of extra parts earlier. You're gonna need quite a few more, but this will be fun once it's done, I think. I just realized something too. Uh, I've already learned that the funnel is too big for the rocks and I completely forgot about that. I don't know what I'm gonna do now. We'll try that anyway. Hopefully this is worth something. And I took a wrong turn and ended up back in my old ground, but I actually have $605 here. So that's gonna add up to a lot of extra money we need. The market is down, but only slightly. What's this worth? 633? I'll take it. I'm just really glad at this point that these pipes are so cheap. If they were expensive, I wouldn't be able to do this. Because I was assuming my funnel wasn't gonna work because a piece of dirt was gonna be too big, I decided to make my own. That might work, that might not work. But you know what? This whole thing might not work anyway, and I just spent the last few hours building nothing. So anyways, if I tie this in, uh, not quite like that, but you get the point. I should have plenty of pressure feeding everything I have so far. So I guess the only thing to do now is fire it up and see how it works. I disconnected it for now because it was just running before and that was actually slowly breaking stuff. And that's obviously counterproductive. I gotta bring a wrench over because I'm pretty sure if I run unfiltered water it hurts my drill down below and that gets annoying. Alright, everything is fixed. Our water pressure is good here. Is our conveyor moving on this end? Things are making it over. Yep, things are making it over. Water pressure is not bad here. Hopefully that's enough to take on the big dirt. I'll find more of the power uh, things as we go anyway. And the more of those I find, the faster we're going to mine. So we'll turn you on then and see how this works. Well, for now, I'm just going to send my first piece of dirt up by hand as soon as I navigate through my little mm, disaster zone I've made. Well, this isn't moving at all. Wait, 
Where'd my water pressure go? I also forgot to buy a plug there, but I don't know why everything stopped. Something may have broken. I think I see what happened. I think I accidentally removed a pipe I shouldn't have removed. Might get a pressure gauge down here to see what kind of pressure we're getting at this guy. Oh yeah, we're going to chase our rock up to see what happens to it. All right, it's making its way up. Not particularly quickly, but it's making its way up. Uh... That's all that really matters right now. That little rock that could. I just hope my thing is up to the task of mulching it. It doesn't go super fast, so those boxes might not even be necessary. Yep, that worked. Did it spit me out anything? No, that was an unlucky rock, but it's gonna work. And like I said, I'm gonna add those crystals everywhere I can. Might have to add a box down here. I think I just spat a piece of dirt out to where it's not supposed to go. But uh, we'll see if that piece of dirt gets us anything. Not the quickest operation so far, but it's automated. I don't have to do a thing and I'm gonna find gold. In it goes. Yeah, there we go. And the landing zone is somewhere over here. And that's not the biggest gold in the world, but it's automated. I think if I get more power going in, we'll find better stuff. So it's just a matter of it spitting out power crystals. And yeah, I'm gonna need to add a box over here. That way uh, stuff stops spitting out the wrong way. So something like that. And my operation for now is complete. Never mind, I'm gonna need another box still. It spits that thing out fast. Ooh, we found three power crystals already. Not really sure where those came from, but I'm not going to complain. Probably don't need that anymore. We'll see. My drill seems to be broken, but I did just see a piece of dirt go up the ramp, so I don't know what to make of that. You know, it's broken down there, but still somehow producing dirt. Oh, do we have a jam already? That's not good. That's a big piece of dirt. Oh, they're probably stacking up. Interesting. All right, well, there's potential for them to stack up, but I'm also going to give this thing a lot more juice right now, too. Because if we're not at a max capacity, what are we even doing with our lives? These are probably medium sized as far as the power crystals go, but we'll see a big step up in the uh, pressure here, and hopefully we'll be able to mulch the biggest of dirt. Or at least find his better results. Gonna need a few more of those. Looks like with the second crystal, we're at max capacity. I've still got to get a plug for that. But everything else seems to be running pretty well. I'm going to go get a plug and see where this is at when I'm back. All right, this thing definitely stopped running. Uh, I'm going to give it another power boost right here and also put a gauge right here. So my drill is running at about three quarters capacity. As soon as I get a chance, I'll add a power crystal to this as well. And the more power I add right there, the faster my conveyors are going to move. Not that that's a big deal because it's my drill that really makes a difference here. But also, let's uh, break up this rock into probably one piece because the other one left and see what kind of results we get now that it's at full capacity. Rock goes down, rock's gonna go in, and hopefully we catch what actually comes out of here. Mm, nothing because it can't shoot through that rock apparently. Wasn't it processing rocks this big earlier? Yeah, there it goes. It's just got a land right, I guess. I'm not sure anything came out of there anyway, so that's fun. Anyways, let's go fix my ever-broken drill. And it should start spitting me out stuff once again. Uh, as soon as we turn it on, then we're gonna go buy a few things from the store. Why isn't it turning its light on? That's alarming. Uh, one thing I never considered was how fast this thing runs out of ground. This whole setup's kind of dependent on, you know, a drill being able to drill for a while. If it drills through the ground that fast, I'm way better off just processing it by hand. I kind of have a few things I want to try, though. Like, just a regular ram drill for one. I don't know if it drills any differently than the other one, but I've got to assume it does somehow. Probably the same effect, just not quite as far down. But don't worry, I've got a few little tricks in mind. Alright, so the first thing I want to try is removing the drill for a minute and then filling in its hole with dirt from the surrounding area. Not sure if that's going to work or have any effect at all, but uh, you know what? We're going to give it a try. Because I've got lots of dirt down here and it's very easy to fill in the hole. It certainly doesn't take long to uh, replace all the dirt. So, uh, whoops, if you want to start working at any point, Mr. Machine, and you want to stop making that sound. Yeah, we're back in business. I can actually just refill it with dirt with the shovel. Mm, hopefully that's just as productive, but the red light's on. It should be spitting out a block of dirt any second now. Yep, there goes one now, so that plan kind of works for the time being. And it's in... Oh, it's not processing again. We need to have, like, a better processing system. Wow, that really shot out of there. And those actually look like the big gold nuggets. I think they are. Those are... I don't know if they're max size. If they're not, they're close. They really fire a long ways. I might have to uh, deflect those a bit. There goes another one. Yeah, there they go. That's kind of fun. Yeah, I'm going to put a block somewhere here to kind of deflect them a bit. Or maybe not. Here's one coming in. And kablamo. Wow, those are actually shooting all the way under the road over there. I'm just going to put a box right there. Hopefully that stops many of them from going too, too far. I don't mind if they go a little ways, but I don't want them to go super far. Let's see how it works. And they spat right down there. I'm okay with that. Is this drill ever not broken? I guess I'll come down and fix it again. And it's out of dirt again already. This is still buying me a bit of time because I could be, you know, expanding my operation while it's mining, but it is kind of inconvenient to have to constantly refill this thing. The gold is starting to add up pretty nicely though, and I did get another power stone, and that looks like a big one. I'm just going to add that one right here because we already know the pressure is three quarters now. Once I add the extra stone, it's definitely going to be at max. 
The ore is starting to stack up pretty nicely. And I've got a little project for this piece. Since I've probably got water pressure to spare, I think I'm going to try and set up another drill somewhere right here. Just got to figure out how I'm going to align this thing down below, but it's going to find me a little bit of extra dirt, that's for sure. A little bit of extra gold. If it can sit right like that sort of thing, that would be fine. Not sure how well this is going to work, but if I go like that, that should actually be feeding a second pump. Now I just got to find a way to get to its on switch. And nothing. Oh, nope. It shot out a little itty bitty rock. Oh, it puts those out at a quick pace, though. All I gotta do is put a box over here to block that. There's my box. Guess we're buying another one. And there we go. We got constant little rocks going to the top to get processed, and then uh, other drills gonna spit out big ones every once in a while. Maximum production. And I don't mean to sound picky, but I feel like a lot of my gold disappeared and went somewhere else. And that's kind of a shame because I really like my gold. Since my gold seems to be disappearing, I'm actually going to dig a little pit for it to fall into. Can I just do that? Yeah, that's better. It's not the prettiest method, but it's going to collect the gold for me. It shouldn't take too long to fill this up. That little drill, once it runs out of room, I'm not going to power it up again because it's only finding me little gold anyway. That's definitely not going to process properly. And it even knocked off another rock. For now, I'm just going to maintain my operation until that pit is full of gold. That's easy. Starting to get not too bad of a stockpile of valuables. Okay, I'm pretty sure my gold is disappearing. Because I left to go to the store and I came back and it seems like there's less than there was before. And something else I never noticed before, the power stones in here actually run out. Or they disappeared. Either way, we're getting way less pressure than we used to. I suddenly realized where all my gold had been going. It had been falling through the ground. Look at all the gold we're missing out on because it all went that way. So I'm probably going to give this stuff up there an actual floor. Hours later, I've worked out all the kinks. And this is our pile of gold and gems so far. It's getting pretty big. Would be a lot bigger had I figured it out sooner, but not bad considering. And everything dies right on cue. So this was a pretty fun learning experience today, but I can still see how much bigger we can go with this. And how much more gold we can have. We could have quite a mountain if we really wanted to. I would weigh it, process it, and sell it all. But I already spent so much time doing this, I just don't want to. Next time.